Good evening, sleepers. The studio is safe for relaxation and comfort. I hope you will enjoy. Hey, so happy to see you, cutie pie. Ah, week has been rough. Lots of traveling back and forth to meet clients and give them a cost approximation for their project. Uh, to be able to see you after all this, uh, uh, no word describe how refreshing it is. So, how was your week, by the way? Oh well, I'm glad one of us had it a bit easier. Uh, want some fee? Coffee, maybe? Always good to have a little cup when you talk. Alright, the usual then. Oh, I'm out. Do I still have some that need to... Ah! I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, adjust my back egg thing up. It's a sharp pain, but it leaves as quickly as it came. Uh, I'm, I'm so tense when I drive that my back muscles get all stuck together. Well, I'm glad the sound I made was entertaining enough for you to laugh. Mm. It's just very surprising. Like a jump scare, but made of pain. Wow, that sounds terrifying. Uh, I blame traffic for this. I hate driving traffic so much. It feels so competitive for some reason, but I can't help it with work. I need to meet clients when they are available. No, it's not because I'm old. Uh, I already had back pain happening to me when I was like 25. I blame Grace for always wanting to play the plane with me. Oh. Actually, uh, it does happen more often and I'm not driving that much more. Uh, I guess I'm getting old after all, Pumpkin. I thought about it a lot and I think it's time we talk about the future. We've been going out for a while now and I'm serious about us. I want to know what you want to do with your life. I think I live a good life myself. I had a kid, a beautiful wedding, and I bought myself a house, but I still want to know what you wish. I mean, you just started your life as an adult, and I don't want to rob you of experience you wish you had. I care about you and your happiness, so I want to know what you had in mind, and I want to make it happen. Well, there isn't any kind of wedding, the uh, grandiose one we see in movies or the wedding that are more legal, so to speak. My sister just went to see a judge with her spouse and I was there as a witness. We then ate a fast food to catch up and that was it. Cheap, quick, but perfectly fine. They are an happy couple now. I know, it sounds boring, but not everyone wants all this attention or they simply don't have the money to spend on frivolous thing. My sister actually spent more on her honeymoon, but don't worry about the price of anything. I have plenty of saving for us. Me? Well, I'd like to make it official because I'm serious about you and if anything happens, the other one is safe. I was actually able to buy this home because Grace's mother has passed away. I'm such a donner. You come here to be with your lover and I hit you with cold hard facts and boring talk. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I bet I'm much more mature than any of those kids in uni. Wasn't expecting it was something we were looking for in a lover, but you are always level headed and mature yourself. Hey, mind if we continue this talk on the couch? I want to be closer to you. Hey, I just love you. What can I say? Ah, yeah. This is something I always did and Always will do. I will do anything for your smile, honey. Ah, oh, don't feel bad about this. I do all those little things because I love you. You can feel like a princess when I'm around, but I don't want you to think I keep spoiling you because I feel forced to. If getting you some water when you're all bundled up in bed make you this happy, I will bring you the whole ocean. I love you, baby. And to see you happy make me probably even happier than you. 
Uh, by the way, did you want to move in with me? I mean, you're here almost all the time and I got plenty of rooms. This also is designed for two kids and two adults and well, I've been alone since Chris moved out. It's uh, a bit lonely when you aren't here, to be honest. Huh, quite diligent from you. I'm impressed, but not surprised. So, you will simply not renew your rent and move here after all. You also probably know, but you are always welcome here. I gave you a key for that reason. Well, I did give you that key in a different circumstance, but I never asked you to get it back after all, because you always have a spot for you here. So, if you send an Indian love, want to take it easy, or literally any excuse is a good excuse to come here. Hmm. Actually, I... I still want to ask you one last serious question about, um, about kids. I know some women really want to get pregnant, like live that experience and bond with their child. I understand that. I mean, if I was a woman, I, I think I would have wanted to. In my day, we often had kids at a pretty young age. I was actually younger than you and I had grace. But today's, a younger folks want to finish school, travel, get a stable job with a house, enter life, and I mean, that's fine too. But the thing that scares me if if we do get a child together, well, it's my age. I know a man can have a healthy child later in life than a woman, but that's not the problem. I want to be there actively for that man. If you wait like the other kids your age, I'll be around 70 when they are an adult. You will not have to choose right now, of course, but I want to be a good father again and a good lover. Giving you all the work, uh, that's just not me. No. Uh, what do I want? Well, if I'm being honest, I had a great time raising Grace, but I wish I did it with someone else. At first we wanted two kids. I mean, that's the reason for health being this big, but life had different plans for us. I'm fine, thank you. You know, Jesus, never fully forget a lover, or a friend, or even a pet passing away. So, I could say I feel like I did not miss out on anything thanks to Grace, but part of me always wished for a second one, and I will be glad if you were the mother. It will be an honor to raise a child with you. But this is all your choice. If you aren't ready and want to wait, but don't want me to be too old. I mean, we could always add up a kid in their early teens. We have so much choices. Actually, a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to guide you and I will accept your decision, which I repeat, does not need to be taken right now. So, if you want no kid or four, well, I mean, uh, no, no, five is a bit too much now. Uh, I want a family, not a soccer team. Don't worry, it's fine to think about it later. Let's enjoy our evening. It was movie dark night, remember? Ah, I doubt you will have forgotten. Do you, do you have a bite? We could order pizza if you want. Great. Just set up the movie, what I call them. Either one of us who finish first could get the blankets for some more couch cuddling. Hey, before that, come here, please. I love you, sweetie. You never forget that. Hmm. I feel think it's crazy you fell in love with an old man like me, but I'm glad you did. I feel like I have a second chance in life and I could never thank you enough for this. Um, after the movie, if you wish, I could spoil you a little bit. Nothing is too good for my love after all. We can uh, lay out in bed and I uh, could massage your back. I know how much you love it. <laughs> well, maybe I'm proposing this to you so you do the same for me. Who knows? I sure don't know the answer to this question. Alright, go prepare the movie. I'm going to call them. Tonight is going to be a great date night. You can count on it. 
Thank you for listening up to the end. I hope you enjoyed this audio and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.